Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Tax Act software from the Word document that I've sent out with this announcement. Now, um, the classrooms at school, BE228, which is has a business mentor there from, and it's open from, I believe it's 1.30 to 4.30 or 5, Monday through Friday. The hours are in the syllabus. However, I believe that this week, week five, the mentor told me that he's away. And so it's, it's definitely closed Monday and Friday. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to have it closed the whole time because he's away. I'm sending an email to check in with them because he also said he doesn't think it's going to be open on Monday and Friday anymore. So it'll just be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, Tuesdays, I had the hybrid tax 134 individual tax class in BE229. And I will be probably just staying in that room after. Uh, I usually move to 228 for office hours, but I think we're just going to stay in that room because no one's been coming in. And I have Tax Act downloaded on all computers in room BE228 and BE229, all versions, all computers. Um, so if you can't download it on your own computer, you can go there and you can come on Tuesday. It's primarily just a Q&A. You can work. And of course, it can turn into two, almost two and a half hour session with me there to help you. All right. Um, I do take priority, of course, to answer the 134 questions. Uh, but anyone is welcome to come in and then be working on the Tax Act and get some help, especially um, in the time following. Okay. So you're going to open that Word document I sent you. Well, let's make my face smaller. You're going to open up the Word document, and you're going to click Tax Act Form 1040 Installer. Once you do that, you'll get this pop-up. You can see below me, yours might be like this below if you're using Chrome or you might get an actual pop-up, so you may need to look behind whatever you have open and I'm going to say keep. The name of your file may be slightly different from mine. And now it's going to download. So you see we have some serious time here, 13 minutes. It usually takes my computer about five full minutes. Um, we'll see how long it takes here. I won't make you wait with me. All right, once it's finished downloading, you can click it and it should open automatically. Uh, if it doesn't look this way on your computer, just open up your Finder folder and go to your downloads. Do we want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, of course we do. Now it's going to ask us some questions. We are going to accept the license. Uh, you can read through it if you want. It's the basics. Now it's going to tell us where it's going to save. You can change this. I would say make sure to check the box so that a shortcut is on your desktop and then click next. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend moving the where it's being saved. I think that sometimes that can cause issues. Next. Okay. When, I'm gonna skip ahead for a second. So when you open, first open the software, you will get this pop-up. You can select the bottom box where it says don't show again and then close this. I already have this open, so it just wants me to finish closing everything before I continue. Now, this is important. Auto check for updates. I would say yes. Taxes are super complicated. These softwares are always doing updates. We're going to say finish. It'll take a few moments and then very quickly, it's, it typically finishes installing. And you'll see on your computer, a you see on the very right of my messy screen, Tax Act, I've selected it, Tax Act 2018 Professional Edition. Um, the first time you download it, you'll get one of these. And that's what this is. And then you'll just double click it to open. Now, for those of you in my business class, or if you want to you know, play with the business, 
Um, they are all going to be under one because this is a professional edition software. So you see how, um, if you look in the left, it says professional edition client manager. So all of the different versions, you have to download them individually by choosing each one here, but they all end up under the same professional software. Now, if you're in individual, you only need 1040 installer. If you're doing business, you will need 1040, 1065, 1120, and 1120S. Just for your own information, 990 is nonprofit and um, 1041 is trust. Okay, so with this pop up, what they're, these are services that they're offering to tax professional employees, or, or I'm sorry, tax professionals who are using Tax Act for their business. Um, I'm going to click don't show again, this little box down in the corner, and then say no thanks. They're going to give us a professional tip of the day. And you can uncheck that box if you don't want to see the tips when you open it, but I kind of like to see them. Then we'll click close. Now, keep in mind, you may have heard of Tax Act just like you've heard of TurboTax. Those are DIY tax prep softwares for people to do their own taxes and they make it very easy. The software asks them questions. Um, however, that is not what this software is. This is professional software. So this is for tax professionals who are doing taxes for businesses that are doing taxes for clients. Now, with that being said, this is not um, like a bigger business type of software. Um, this is more for small businesses and lower price tax professionals. There are more robust uh, return prepare software for larger companies. However, I will say that this is a great experience. If you've ever used DIY tax software, you'll see that this is very different. And this is very similar to what you'll experience with other business tax softwares for professionals. So now you can see I've downloaded three different types of the software, the 1040, 1065, and now 1120. And even now I'm being asked already to install the updates. And I would say install now. Now the only reason I'm not gonna do that now, I would do it every time. I would just plan to do it, but I'm gonna not do it just to finish showing you around. So now we're in the client manager. And this is a central point for all of the tax returns to be organized. And it's set up for a business that would have multiple tax preparers that would have people reviewing people doing the taxes. You can see over here, you can show clients for individual preparers. EFINs are electronic filing identification numbers. So usually a firm has an EFIN and then they'll have multiple people preparing returns and they put their PTIN number, paid preparer number on each return, but the firm would have one EFIN under which all of the preparers e-file their returns, if applicable. You can select the different return types once you download different options. If all you have is the 1040, that's all you'll see there. So these options are part of managing a firm. See, this is to set up a schedule, professional reports, document manager, which is a huge part of doing tax returns, especially business um, and our notifications. So this has nothing to do with doing a tax return. To start a tax return, we need to go up to the top left. See how it says file? This is where you can choose to open a client return you've already started or uh, import a prior year return or the first option, add a client return. And then you'll say add new 2018. You'll choose if you download more than the 1040, you'll choose the one you want to use from there and you'll click OK. And then you'll start by entering this basic information, which you'll enter from whatever problem you're doing. Once you finish that, you'll say create client. Oh, 
Okay, so I updated <clears throat> this information just so you can see the type of information you enter here. Name, address, contact info. This is all of the information that will now be on the first page of the Form 1040, the first half page. Um, getting a state ID is very common these days for um, to verify and put that information in for e-filing. And this is where you'll select if someone's blind, disabled, right, for that additional standard deduction amount. And this is where you choose their filing status. This is also where you enter the address. And if the um, address has changed, you'll check that box right there below the address and the return preparer information. So now we'll say create client which is going to create them under our client manager now and start their return. So now we see over here we have federal and we have attachments, which sometimes need to be created for additional detail. From here, um, there are two different ways to um, enter information. So this is a view on the left that allows us to look at everything that's currently in here. We can open up forms and schedules. These are all of the forms and schedules uh, that could be in this type of return. This is kind of starting with the basic information. This was the info we just entered. And then we can go into dependence. You just have to read through. Now up here, we can have some different options. So under tools, we can upgrade, of course. I definitely recommend just clicking around and, and looking at everything and the features and different ways to do things. Uh, no one, when I first did taxes, there was there was no learning. Um, you were just expected to learn how to use this on your own. And it's very common for that to be the mentality out there. So getting familiar with this software will, will give you, um, and of course, I'm not making you guys do that. Here it is, forms. Um, so you click forms, and then that brings in this left side for you. There's, let's see. Their currently opened return has been modified. Do you wish to save the changes? Yes. So I clicked to Q&A, um, and now it's going to have us save it. This makes this is an, an entry area that's a bit different. Um, yes, we'll do Amanda Russell 2018 individual tax return save. So this is kind of like the DIY side when you go into Q&A. I... I don't prefer doing it. Um, I prefer using the tax side and it's more than just entering things on the form. They really walk you through uh, how to enter things by drilling down. Of course, things like W-2s, you're gonna enter those right away and um, simply add a W-2 and copy what's on the W-2 directly in here. And then you can add another copy right below it. You just click that button. So I'm going to stop there. Definitely feel free to poke around, but I'll show you more when I assign whatever tax return for your class. I'll be showing you more how to enter it. You don't have to figure it out on your own. Don't worry. Um, I'll have videos for you. And I definitely encourage you guys to talk to each other in the forum while you're working on these returns, ask questions, talk to each other. Uh, the more you get talking, it, you know, you'll find some people figure this out, figure this out. You just click around. And of course, you're always welcome to ask me as well. And my videos should provide good guidance too. Okay, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.